What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. Today I'll take you through some interesting things about the life of a YouTuber, Lamont. Famous for his channel, Lamont at Large, where crimes and mysterious murders have taken place, he visits the graves of many famous celebrities and local legends in various parts of the country. In today's video, we will look at some of his best moments, income, and secret stuff that you've not heard. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video. Before I continue with the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me grow on YouTube. Alright, let's get on with the video. By the way, did you folks know that Lamont has another channel called Black Bigelow with almost 100,000 subs? There he shares his day to day activities and political views and has even put out his phone number for anyone interested in reaching out to him. Lamont drives hundreds and thousands of miles every month shooting videos about the forgotten victims of violent crimes. He produces quality content that covers stories across America directed at the dearly departed, the missing, and the unsolved. On his channel, Lamont at Large, he has 907 uploads and 422,000 subscribers. He created the channel on June 6, 2017, and since then has had a total viewership of 115 million views. He has a decent viewership with his most popular videos titled A Casket Failure at a Cemetery with 9 million views and The Girl in the Dollhouse Grave with 3.8 million views. He averages 70,000 views per day, which can bring anywhere from $80 to $200 in a day. Assuming he makes $100 a day, we can estimate his yearly YouTube revenue around $40,000 US dollars. It might come as a surprise to some that Lamont lives in a van or trailer. He's been living in a van since 2015 and he lives in a van and roams around the country to look at exciting stuff such as graveyards. He lives a nomadic lifestyle moving around and always looking for interesting topics for his videos. He posts engaging content and around graves of ordinary people, unsolved cases, and famous people. He visits graves of the people like the rapper DMX, legendary boxer Joe Frazier, singer Teddy Pendergrass. Seems like he mostly visits famous African Americans for the past few decades. Unlike the famous African American celebrities whose graves he visits, Lamont is a Republican and a Trump supporter. Believe me, I was just as shocked to hear this as you. But that's his game. He focuses more on shock value videos. He likes to make videos that are shocking to the viewer. He focuses more on less famous topics such as incidents that happened 30 or 40 years ago. Many people accuse him of being crazy riding from state to state on a scooter, but he states that he'll continue doing more videos and is planning to get more unsolved murders and mystery cases. It wasn't something that he developed the taste for in his later life. Rather, he's been a fan of true crime and unsolved mystery since he was little. Unsolved Mystery was his favorite television show of all time. He would also read the ma detective magazines at 10 years old. He's continued to go down that path even after he received death threats from the families of people whose graves he has visited. For some unspecific reason, Lamont is always angry at rappers that are murdered, calling them names. It could be because he's drinking way too much, he even admits that himself. He looks a mess half of the time. I've been watching him for a while now and found him to be very informative, learned a lot of history, and appreciated how he's sincere and respectful to those buried there, their families, loved ones, and his audience. He does a good job with telling their stories, and if you haven't seen his channel yet, you should definitely check them out. He plays around with racial identity a lot, which I feel is his pejorative but something worth mentioning. His beard is too zappy to be 100% white. That brings us to the end of this video. I really enjoyed putting together this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. Let me know who you'd like to see on my channel next. Leave your answers in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. 